guys. Welcome Hi. back to Indie Faith Podcast. You're here with Jules and Mary. Hello. What's up? <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I just lost my train of thought. Um, hope everyone's having a great week. Um, how are you going, cuz? I am good. <laughs> I'm very good. That's so good. I'm back at work. Yes. How's that going? Yeah. Uh, it's going good. It's going good. Um, yeah. No, like I never left. Yeah. Um, same. Yeah. Same thing. As soon as I, <laughs> as soon as you came back, they just yeah. Well, coming back to you, is it? Yeah. How did you know? <laughs> It's only the third take we've taken. Um, just get right back into it. So. Uh, actually, um, uh, I also wanted to acknowledge uh, James and Mihaka. Thank you for Thank you our guys. last episode. Um, yeah, that that was really deep. Very and deep. If you haven't uh, haven't checked it out already, check it out. Um, it's episode twenty eight. Twenty eight. So it's right before this episode. Yeah, it was awesome. That it episode. really was. Yeah. I just the energy, and I still can't get over it. It was just such yeah. a good vibe. So yeah. Just vibes, vibes, and more vibes. So awesome to meet them as yeah. well. Beautiful, beautiful couple. Well, we talked just before we, we started the episode <laughs> and then after the episode we talked a whole bunch more. Yeah, <laughs> we did actually. Like, yeah. I don't think they left till like five, yeah. six. <laughs> and it just felt like we'd just known them for forever. Uh, forever. Yeah. yeah. It just it was all day. Was, we were together all day. They were so amazing. Yeah. yeah. Like wishing you all the best, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we're up to twenty episode twenty nine now. Um, episode 30 will be when it's our one year. Mm-hmm. Um, so get excited, guys. Next episode's yeah, our coming one year. Up next. Celebrating yeah. one year of uh, Indie Faith Podcast. I know. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know. I'm nervous now. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, first we're going to start off with the icebreaker. That's on me. Um, very simple. We're playing Never Have I Ever. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start putting some sounds on this damn thing. I know. <laughs> Imagine it's like some weird noise, just like, <laughs> like what was that? Oh, uh, I've, I've only got the stuff that um, Smoke and Mirrors have on uh, there. So, yes. And then and theirs is like, Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the first button you choose. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why we don't That's uh, why we don't have uh, noise nah. in the background. We we keep it <laughs> we keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, the first one is, Never have I ever stolen something. Have you ever stolen something, my cuz? Oh. Um, does the <laughs> oh here we go? Does the the the, the grapes at the shops count? <laughs> you know when you're little, you you pick up the grapes. You're adorable. <laughs> I think everyone does that. Yeah. Everyone does, that does that. I don't think so. If everyone does it. Does that count? As stealing? I don't think so. I don't think it is stealing. <laughs> oh yeah. Then um no. Oh okay. <laughs> Never. I'm trying to re- to be honest. I I didn't remember until um it came back to me. Oh. So um I was at court with one of my family members mm. and we were there for hours. I'm not sure if people know this, but when you go to court, you are there for hours. <laughs> so I went to this bookshelf and I grabbed a book and I started reading it. And then when it was finally my family member's turn, I wanted to finish the book. Yeah. I was like 200 pages in. I was like, I need to finish this. I want to know. <laughs> so um, we went to do my family member's case, was all done, whatever, walked out and I took the book with me. <laughs> and I, re- I forgot all about this book. Um, because I put it away somewhere, found it like years later. Mm. And I was like, oh my gosh, I never got to finish it. I finished it and the ending was so trash that I threw it across the room as soon as I finished oh. it. I was so mad. And then you know what? It was bad karma. That yeah. was what I got. For st- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so looking back, I was like, oh, but it was such a good book. And then mm. towards when it got to the ending, I was so angry. Like I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> um so that was that was like my little experience yeah yeah good for that so to the uh, books bookstore yeah well to the to the courthouse in, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> you should have just if it was trash just go give it back <laughs> well it was just it was so ironic like it's a place of like you know imagine you law. Went, i know right <laughs> you got balls I was like 16. I was 16 and i'm like this is not it i've been here all day and back then we didn't have iphones Nah, we okay. had like I did have a Nokia, but like you know yeah. your battery <laughs> dies, you don't have much data, like you have to top up your credit. So I just I read a book. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think that was the least worst thing. I, the person in the court. <laughs> True. <laughs> I think I was all right. Like let be let's be honest. I think I was okay. Uh, Imagine it was your court case. <laughs> 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 
I will just call up this girl we noticed. Uh, <laughs> we just saw on the CCTV footage. Um, <laughs> but yeah, sorry about that. It was, it was my fault anyway. Bad karma. Bad, bad. So don't do it, guys. It's, it's not worth it. If you're bored, be bored. <laughs> If you're bored, count the ceiling tiles or something. Or, the <laughs> or at least finish the book in the store before you walk out of it. No, it was in a bookshelf at the, like, in, while you're waiting. I think they knew people would be there all day. Yeah, true. So they have this bookshelf available for you. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to read. Um, but yeah, don't do it. It's, it's, not, it's not worth it. Okay, next one. Let's have a look. Never have I ever stood someone up on a date. Um, Never. <laughs> never. Next question. And I can say that confidently because yeah. I've never had any dates. <laughs> well, you've been with like your man for like I don't know. Yeah, I can't stand him up. I'll live with him. That's also that would be so awkward. Imagine you just go out and just don't show up. The hell are you? I'm at the movies by myself. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, have you? No. Okay. No, no, no. Um, Why would you stand them up? Like, they could pay for your food. <laughs> <I've>, <laughs> I had a I had a friend who did that. They went oh. to the movies with um a, fr- a person. Mm. During the movie, they went to the bathroom, and left. Oh, they left the person in the movie. Damn. That was like that is that is so mean. That is you just leave them in the dark they by just, themselves. Oh, no, they're still watching the movie. <laughs> they're probably sitting there like this person has not come back. I would always remember if I was that person, I'd be like, "What a horrible person! <laughs> just left me in this movie." I know, hey. <laughs> I was like, "Sad guy, man. That's just okay." All right, next one, next one, next one, next one. Wow, there's so many. I had so many I wanted to <laughs> talk about. Okay, never have I ever fallen in love at first sight. Um, was it first love for you? I never, I, I would say never, because mm. I, I never, I'm very skeptical. Oh, no, not skeptical. I suss people out first. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'd never, yeah, I don't think so. Actually, maybe with, with Rob. Yeah. Um. It wasn't love. I wouldn't say it was love. Yeah. But it was. Just instant attraction? Uh, Not even attraction. Oh, wow. It was just something about his eyes that just like. Oh. <laughs> that's so cute no i don't mean it in that like yeah like it was like i don't know it was like you know when you look at someone's eyes and, and this is what I, I, I say this to him all the time that there's something particular about his eyes where you can just see you can just look at them and you can already tell what that that kind of person oh yeah yeah Aww. uh that that okay. was what i was really attracted to yeah yeah that's sweet and um it, it's like you could just read their their soul through their eyes Sounds creepy. That was so <laughs> deep. I was just like, I, I've never done that. <laughs> no, nah, but I've never ever fallen in love at first sight. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't. Because I'm the same. I need to suss them out. Yeah. Because if they, like, I know when you see someone, obviously you're attracted to who you're attracted to. Yeah. But there's only that. But I don't believe it's it's love at first sight. I don't believe that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I wonder if there's, there's anyone out the there. If you've ever fallen in love, like, as soon as you saw that person, can you let me know? Because I yeah. don't know anyone else who's done that. I feel like love is something that you need to build. Yeah. Or like, you know, um, like you got to get to know them. Yeah. And then actually fall in love. That's fair. But maybe the attraction was so strong that it felt like love. I don't know. I don't know either because I've never felt that. Yeah, same. (laughs) Like you see it in movies and I'm just like, yeah, that's a movie. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Because I I, like, I don't know. Because maybe I have trust issues. (laughs) Maybe. Maybe. I'm pretty sure that's that's right though. Yeah. (laughs) Um, This one's a bit gross. (laughs) Oh, oh. Never have I ever caught my parents doing the deed. Oh, what the hell? No, no, I was like, it's right there. And I'm like, oh, ask it. <laughs> um, Never. I have. I- I've never caught them. I have. So- <laughs> my mom's watching. So it's mine. <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> okay. But we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, all right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, have I... Oh man, never have I ever cheated when playing a game. Ooh. Um It can be any game. Board game, volleyball game, like anything, any game. You know what's sad? What? I've never. You've never cheated? Never cheated on a game. Be- because Why is that mom sad? Well, like cause it, it's a common thing now, I think. Because even like with my son. 
<laughs> he cheats all the time. Oh, and yes. I have to, it's hard for me to teach him to just play the game like it is. Yeah. Like, you know, follow the rules. Yeah. But no. If you lose, you lose. See, yeah. our kids, though, they cannot stand to lose. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Whereas um, mom, that was one thing that mom always taught us when we were younger is never, ever cheat when you play games. Mm. Like, um, she she hates that people yeah. that cheating games. Yeah. Um, she, yeah. So now that I think we about never, it, you've never cheated. No. Yeah, no, you didn't. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's, I don't know. Uh, like, it's ingrained in me that I, n- yeah. I never do it. But, yeah, uh, nah, I've never because mm. mom didn't allow us to. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> I remember I was playing that um, heads down, thumbs up game. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I put my head down, but I could see, like, I put my eyes on the edge oh, of the yeah. table so I could see the shoes. <laughs> so whoever touched me. And then there was a time I got busted because the kid went under. Yeah. And he looked up at me. He was like, "You're cheating." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Get the hell out of here, man, Richard! You can just far out." I feel like such a nerd. He was like, really like you know, heads down, thumbs up. I'm just like, <laughs> like my eyes are like tight, closed. <laughs> no, after, to be honest, after I did that, I never did again because I was so embarrassed. He full yelled it out for everyone to hear. Oh damn! Like in the class. Oh, so they're like, "Such he's cheating," and I'm like, <clears throat> <laughs> "That's so normal for everyone now yeah. to cheat." <laughs> Moving on. Okay. Oh man. Never have I ever Googled my own name. Oh, I have. I have. Uh, many times. And, and like, then I see the cringiest posts oh, sometimes. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you one though. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> I don't know how old I was, but it was a Harry Potter thing. <laughs> oh a, my god. In a forum. <laughs> I can't remember exactly what I said. Yeah. Because I like when I read it the first time, yeah. I was like, never again <laughs> am I gonna Google I'm gonna click on that. But I said the most nerdiest thing with Aww. like in that Harry Potter thought yeah. uh, forum. Yeah. But yeah. That's cute. <laughs> no, it's not. It that's was no, embarrassing. I was embarrassed because um like it's no offense to this certain ethnicity, but when, when I look up my name, like mm. my, my star uh, yeah. name, it comes up with um things to do with the Indian culture. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and I was already mocked for that um, as because our cousins and our siblings, they're like champions. Champions. <laughs> At mocking. So, you know, Matrix. <laughs> I have to bring it up. Matrix, uh, the little Indian girl. As soon as I would see that bit's about to come on, I would leave because as soon as it comes on, all of you guys... And my daughter Sati. That's just all I would hear for the Sati Sati. <laughs> the all of these, and you know who did it the best? Weaver. Weaver, Weaver did it the best. That it's just so yeah. So I, I googled it, and then I instantly regretted it because I'm like, <laughs> of course you're gonna see this stuff. It's very common, and I get asked that a lot when they see my name. Yeah, like when other Indian people see my name, they're like, "Are you Indian?" And I'm like, "Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah." <laughs> Uh, I could like I recently googled my name because I wanted to um, find Bebo because oh, I like yeah. I really wanted to find the my photo. Old... Yeah, yes. but it's gone. Like yeah. totally gone. Well, they ha- I hear they're bringing it back. Oh, I hope they bring back my photos. That's what I wanted. I was like, <laughs> well, there's so many photos that yeah. we had, and I'm just like, I want I want to see what happened. Yeah, Please. but then again, there were a lot of um, cringe selfies. You know, when you're young and you're a moipi, and, and then you think you're so hot. I know, and, and then you don't you... have any boobs or anything. You're <laughs> I did not develop at all. I'm just like, wow. I had all these like bloody, yeah, revealing You're selfies. Very, see, and... I, I wanted to be just like you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to punch me when I go <laughs> back. <laughs> just like, I have like, yeah, when I see those old photos, like I still had them on my Facebook. Yeah. Uh, but I put them off uh, on private. Yeah. Because I was like, what a little <laughs> shit. Like, why did someone tell me? Yeah. But, but then I remember they did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you, at school, you're trying you hem up your skirt so it's yes. higher. Yeah. No, every girl did that though. Yeah. I know I, heaps of girls who did that. Yeah. Same. Yeah. yeah which is why I did it, but yeah. <laughs> but still. I but hate, we we would I always do it like way. when we um leave the house. Of course we're not gonna do it when our parents see us. Oh yeah. Of it's course. as soon as they're like away from us. You look like a freaking nun when you when you <laughs> when you're walking out the door. <laughs> and then as soon as you're with your friends, yeah. it's like Completely, <laughs> hair's coming out, freaking makeup on. Look like a hoe now. Yeah, <laughs> from none to hoe. Yeah. 
<laughs> zero to 100. <laughs> really bad. And then back to none when you're on your way back yeah. home. <laughs> and then you just have to fix yourself. Like, how did you look before you, like, left the house? Um, <laughs> Chew, like, 50, like, chewing gums just to <laughs> hide the smoke and alcohol smell. And they still know. Yeah. They still know. Yeah. <laughs> You spray a lot yes. of uh, impulse. Impulse. <laughs> oh man, every girl used impulse, man. We thought we were so fly. I know. I. <sighs> Back in the day. Good times. Good times. Okay, last one. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo in secret. Ah, uh, have. I have. Mine were not in secret. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, true. mine were. I was very open about when I was getting mine. Yeah. I think my most recent one, I didn't tell anyone. I think I obviously told you. I tell Jules everything. Um, but I didn't tell anyone else. And oh. I was getting it done that day. Oh, okay. <clears throat> but they knew of it? They've known for – so since I was 16, I wanted this specific piece. <clears throat> yeah. And I'll tell them that. But because I never did it, they were just like, oh, yeah, she always says that. She's yeah. never going <laughs> to – it's been 20 years. Oh, 20 years. 10 years. Like, she still hasn't done nothing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I just I didn't tell anyone, and then I messaged you when I was getting it on the I was on the way there, and I was like, Ooh. <laughs> "Yeah, you were so nervous." Yeah, but then when you showed me, I was getting teary. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, I'm very I'm very pleased with that. We'll, it'll come out. I'll, I'll yeah, do like a little video montage when it's done. Um, shout out to Horse Horse, Horse Inc. Inc. They were amazing. I highly recommend them. Yeah, straight up. He he and his brother um were just very nice, very accommodating, very welcoming. Um, I felt very at home because they were making me goreng and, oh. and, and eggs. <laughs> That's all I have in the cupboard too. Right? As soon as I smelt it, I was like, wow, I am, I feel very at home. Yeah. Um, and they, I felt bad cause I had eaten before I got, I got there. So they kept trying to, you know, islanders are very like, you know, eat, yeah. eat. And I had already eaten. So I was like, no, I'm okay. I swear. Like I already ate. And then they were like, we feel bad. Like we're eating and you're just yeah. sitting there. Um, and if I was hungry, I swear I would have eaten because that migraine smelled amazing. But I had well, I was so full because mm. I told myself eat before I go there. Yeah. Um, but they were very nice. Um, his lovely wife was there as well. They were just very nice people. Wow. And very professional. Very. Like it turned out better than what I wanted. Yeah. So yeah. Shout out it lo- to it looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. When it's finished, I will reveal it to everyone. But yeah, shout out to Horsing. Yeah. He's the shout man. out. Yeah. But yours were in secret. Ah uh, yeah. Okay, I forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want you to tell about it because I didn't know. I didn't even know. You didn't even tell me you were gonna go get them done. Yeah, I yeah. um my first one because my first one was uh, a skull and roses. <laughs> Let's go through a phase, guys. That looks beautiful. But I, I, I love it. it. I, I, I love I, it. I still love it. Yeah, because uh, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, when they did find out, they're like, you're gonna get, you know, you're not gonna like that. Mm. But there was just a lot of meaning to it at the time of my life <clears throat> that I put into that that like that I wanted in that design. Yeah. Um, but yeah, cause you know, my dad's really old school. Yes. So I had to hide it from him for ages. Yeah. And then one time I think he walked in the room mm. and it, it was to tell me off because I went, I went out the night before. Oh uh, yeah. And um, yeah. And then he, 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 <laughs> he, he barged into the room and I, and I was sleepy, but I was in a singlet. Oh. And it, cause I was facing my back towards oh, the door. He no. saw it cause <laughs> behind my, left shoulder yeah and he saw it and oh my gosh yeah, yeah. I, I almost died yeah <laughs> yeah and just say that yeah i almost died that night <laughs> glad you didn't but yeah. yeah but um yeah and then i think that was the other one which is a small one here which is a chinese symbol of fate it's just too like it's shit like i like next to, if i ever have the money i'm gonna get it like done and just cover the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. So that wasn't even worth hiding. It was yeah. Like, uh, even the Chinese people were like, hey, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you get that done? Yeah. Because it, it was supposed to symbol, it was a symbol for fate. Yes. And it was the first thing that I saw there. And then, um, yeah. And so when I got it done, they like, it just, I don't Watched know. It? Yeah. Hard. Oh. And then um, there were gaps missing. And what it's just heck? a little symbol. Yes. Like, I know. Yes. That actually, yep. Yeah. Yeah, and then the, even my um my my Asian friends they were like, yeah, fate is more like fake. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're like my bad shit. <laughs> yeah, so I was like okay, uh, yeah, need to cover it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, but then my third one, nah, I was really open. I've showed dad as soon yeah. as I got it because it's my son's name. Yeah, so he, I definitely knew he would love that. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but yeah, right, that man. was when I was like. 
over 30. So. Yeah. And you have your kids <laughs> yeah. and you live with your man now. Like, yeah. yeah. But my first one, I think it was, I just finished high school. Yeah. 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 I remember I heard about it. It went through the grapevine. Yeah. That was bad. But I was just like, and like, and <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> I think if, it were, if, I, if I should have been smart about it and gotten like an island tattoo or something, so oh. I wouldn't cop it as much. Yeah. But because it was skull, skull and roses. roses. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> and our family's very like not very religious, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Anyways, yeah. that's the uh, ice break for today, guys. Yeah, that was. That we was got fun. to learn a little bit more about us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. All right. I'll move on to. I'm up with Josh jokes again this yes. week. I feel like yours are way. Better. I feel like my my jokes are getting less funny every time. <laughs> They're still funnier than mine. Well, I hope this one is because um I tr- I tested on my brother. And and my partner, and they didn't find it funny. <laughs> okay, so here we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> two polar bears, a mother and her cub. Okay, they come to a river. The mother polar bear jumps in and swims to the other side. The mm-hmm. cub follows. On the other side of the river, they shake the water out of their fur, and the cub says to its mother, "Hey, mom. Yes, son. Am I a grizzly bear? No, son. You're a polar bear. Oh, thanks, mom." They walk across the snow for a bit when they see another river with some ice on it. The mother swims across to the ice. The cub follows. On the ice, they shake the water out and the cub says, Hey, mum. Yes, son. Am I a brown bear? No, son. You're a polar bear. Ah, thanks, mum. The mother bear then sits by the edge of the ice and starts looking in the water for some food, a fish, a seal or whatever. The ice floats down the river. They see an narwhal and a grampus they see a couple of orcas the wind picks up and then it begins to snow after a while the cub says hey mum yes son am i koala bear no son i told you you're a polar bear why do you keep asking me this because i'm fucking freezing (laughs) (laughs) yeah (laughs) i'm trying to it was funny but i'm just like what does he mean so he went through the ice. He oh. went through the. S- <laughs> <laughs> he went through the snow okay. and everything, and they're polar bears. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's why they didn't find it funny. <laughs> it's one of those you have to think about. Yes, it. <laughs> that's why I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, that, I pissed myself laughing at this one, <laughs> but you know, I could just picture you doing that though. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for. The- <laughs> Polar bears. As soon as I heard two polar bears, I was like, oh, here we go. I know. Mine are always animals. Yours are always animals. I'm just like. Because I try to look for a clean one, but then whenever I read it and then the last thing, are you. Fair I'm enough. fucking freezing. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. It's not kid friendly. <laughs> I tried. We need a joke. <laughs> All right. Okay. The next one is what's on your mind. So um, I'm just going to read it. Uh, we tell people that first impressions are very important, but then also tell them not to judge a book by its cover. Ooh, mm. that was deep. Yeah. Wait, first impressions are important. Yep. But then you tell them not to judge a book by its oh, cover. Wow. Yeah. True. I'm just Hypocrites. like, Hypocrites. yeah. It's <laughs> a lot of that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I yeah. really like that one. Yeah, that was a real shower thought. Yeah, I feel like thinking about it. Now that's a really good one. (laughs) All right. Okay. Moving on to the next one is story of the day. So (laughs) this video went viral this week. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw it on Samoa More Samoa. It was a live video. Uh, It was three guys. Two of them were young. Mm -hmm. Um, And then there was an elderly gentleman. Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. He looked to be about in his 50s, 60s. Uh, Samoan. Um, and then, so (laughs) why the video went viral is because, um, they were having a drink up Mm -hmm. and the old man, he, it was like, he said something, oh no, sorry. One of the guys had a live video going, so, um, yeah, of their drink up. And then anyway, the, the older gentleman said something to, um, he said something and because it was on live, I don't know if the other one got upset about it. Anyway, um, so the, yeah, so because of that, it was like, um, 
they were going back and forth. Oh no, he was saying something and then the younger guy said something. You couldn't really hear it because yeah. the music was blasting as well. And then all of a sudden he just punched that old guy in the face. Um, yeah, I'll just let that sink in for oh, a no, bit. I'm just like... <laughs> So there was a younger guy in the middle Mm -hmm. and he appeared to try and stop because like the guy was like squaring him up. Yeah. The young guy. Yeah. Like not only did he punch him in the face, but then he, he tried to like keep going, keep going. And then the guy in the middle stopped him. And, but anyway, I'll I'll get into how I feel about it Mm -hmm. after. Mm -hmm. Then there was a second Mm -hmm. video. So this second video, it's still the same live. But, like, with the first video, you thought the middle guy was, you know. Trying to, like. Def- like, yeah. yeah, trying to protect the old yeah. man. But then the second video, he's, they're both telling the old man, we, he, like, that the guy that punched him didn't do anything. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. He was like, um, you know, do, I don't know why you're um, crying mm-hmm. for he didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like, that was, yeah. That was the second video. The day after this, these two videos went viral, mm-hmm. um, so, so the guy's name, the guy that punched him in the face is... It... Oh, thank you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, his name is... Uly- uh, it said on his page Ulysses. Yeah. But then, there was, but then, cause, uh, you know, because of how everyone is Samoans, it's like Ulysses. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. All these other different names. So I think his name is Ulysses. I don't know. Yeah. Um. But then he did a. So the day after it went viral, he did a live, mm-hmm. and he w- uh, he was apologizing yep. to this old man, and then and, and to the public as yep. well. So. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So with the apology, like you know, was it authentic? Or like, did he actually like? Did he feel sorry yeah, for the was guy? Was it genuine? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And did he? But or did he do it because the video had gone viral mm-hmm. and he got so much hate mm-hmm. for it? Mm-hmm. Like everyone was like, yeah, ready to like. There, there were threats and yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. Um. To this guy. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be completely honest. I um. I saw it go viral mm. i saw it on all all over my Instagram because i'm on instagram a lot yeah compared to any other social media um and i saw a lot of some ones um mm. and, and other islanders um post this on their stories yeah i went to click on the video and then as soon as i read the description of the video i did not watch the video yeah um mainly because i did not want to see what happened i could tell by the comments and everyone's reaction that it was really bad yeah but I, so you've just described to me what happened. I had no idea. I didn't oh, watch it. Wow. I did not want to watch it because um, it made me feel a type of way. Yeah. So I went to start watching it and, and I'm very like, um, my friends say I'm very sensitive, very <laughs> emotional. Um, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Yeah. Because it makes me, it makes me feel a type of way. It's so I didn't, good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't watch it, but the reaction was enough to tell me it was bad. It was. It was really bad. And then um, it just it escalated. And then I found out about the, the apology video. Mm. And even that was bad because people were posting it on their stories, on like their, um, their pages. And they were like, they still didn't care that you're apologizing. A lot yeah. of them were like, you know, you can still go die. And I'm just like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Uh, but I'll let you. I'll let you go first, cause how you felt about that. Um. So like when I first saw it, mm-hmm. and I, like when he the when he hit the old man. Yeah. Uh, my blood pressure. Oh fuck! Yeah. I was so mad. Yeah. Like so so mad. Yeah. It's just because what broke my heart was the second video. You see the old man crying, and like to me, I'm just picturing my dad, yeah. and you know, like. Oh, yeah. And I wish, like, you know, make, made you feel like you just wanted to fussy that, yeah. like, you really wanted to fussy that guy. Like, yeah. I really wanted to give him a hiding. Mm. And, um, yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah. But regardless, mm-hmm. like, we all know. Yeah. You do not, like, respect yeah. your elders. Yes. You do not put your hands yeah. on any elders. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I saw a lot of, I saw a lot of sad ones, um, Look, you know about the VAR? Yes. So in, in our culture, the VAR is very sacred, very important, very... Between so, the... Ma- yes. Makua and the... <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
So our younger people already are already brought up to believe or to know that you do not mess with your elders, yeah. regardless if they're wrong or it's none of your business. You, yeah. th- there's a certain level of respect that you still have to have yeah. towards your elders. Um, and I believe that even to this day, like as much as um, I, I can argue with people who, who are older, I know I could never have it in me yeah. to put my hands on yep. an older person. Yeah. Um, because this is why. <laughs> <laughs> but, and that's another thing. Like this guy look like he sounded like he's from Samoa. Yeah. Like he was raised in mm-hmm. Samoa. App- apparently he like, because of this video, he might get deported back. I don't know. Yeah. Because I think it was in NZ or mm. Kia. I don't know. Yeah. But like, you know, yeah. you should know mm-hmm. that you do not lay your hands regardless whether, you yeah. know, we all know that we're stronger than our elders. Yeah. <laughs> like you, that's, yeah. Oh. I'm just like there's just a lot of feelings that I came just, out it's of it. It's because you're yeah. right. It's just, <laughs> just, and you're right about the like the actions have consequences. And as much as you want to apologize after, the damage is already done, man. Yeah. Like to to hit someone, mm. an older person, and see them cry. Yeah. And then you and your mate are trying to act like it wasn't that big of a deal. Oh yeah. Only goes to show how very little. And to still tell him off while yes. he's cr- crying. Oh. I'm just in shock. Like, just, just why? <laughs> yeah. Nah, that was just straight up, like, dog moves, Oh, man. man. I saw so many hateful comments. Yeah. So many people wanting to, like, go after this guy. Yeah. And I was like, I can't. I felt bad for him that yeah. he was copying this. But I also looked at it like, nah, you, you don't do that. Well, that's – in. Like, I'm not sure that a lot of our people are aware of this, that when something goes viral these days, mm-hmm. you can't take that shit mm-hmm. back. And you got to be aware that there's going to be, you've, you've put it out to the public. Yep. So you've pretty much opened it out for public opinion. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if you if you get a lot of hate for it, you, yeah. that's what you expect. Yeah. Especially if you do some dumb shit like that. Yeah. Of course you're going to get threatened by yeah. people. And, like, you know... um, this guy, whether he apologized or not, his life is over. Yeah, pretty like, much. Re- pretty much. Yeah. Like, that's what happens when things go viral on yeah. the internet and you have all these people now, you know, they all know your name. Yeah. They all know who you are. Yep. And they know what you did. Yeah. And, like, regardless of that, you're they're, they're always going to see gonna you a certain way. Yeah. That's what you did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you, like, you people, like, you know, people have got to be very careful yeah. what they put out on the internet. Yeah. But at the same time, like... <laughs> Like even if this happened in private, because it looked like it happened. Yeah, it happens often. Yeah, like it's like if it you can do it once, how do we know you didn't do it? But like, just the ease of the way he hit mm, him, it was like it, it just looked like he'd done it before, mm, which pisses me. Which is why, in a way, I'm kind of glad that it was you know on it was on his own video. Yeah, almost <laughs> <laughs> said it definitely. <laughs> But like you know what I mean, they like, we busted and and like there's a good side and a bad side mm. to like you know um this generation's uh what do you call it um capturing things on, yeah. on camera mm. is that like you know we get to you know it exposes those people that do shit yeah dumb shit mm-hmm. but then also like when you do that sort of stuff your life is yeah done yeah and there were a lot of um. There were a lot of threats. Yeah. There were a lot of people that were like very unforgiving yeah. and ready to go. F- they, a lot of people I noticed in the comments as well were, were looking for his name. Yeah. They were like, who is this guy? And then eventually, like, I don't know, people that, um, it's like they all just went digging. Yeah. And <laughs> us level- Islanders, we have such a small community. Yeah. Where it's bound to come out. Someone knows someone yep. who knows someone yeah. who knows you. Yeah. So like, you're going to get caught out. And then, like, also, like, you know, they, uh, like, the level of effort, because it was that, you know, people wanted to, like, really geeking on this guy. Like, they, yeah. like, they went, they took the time out of their day mm-hmm. to look for this yeah. guy. On, or like, yeah. so they found his old page <laughs> and then eventually found his new page. Yeah. Um, I think it was a family member that shared his live where he was apologizing because mm. I don't. I think the the impact was so bad. Yeah. That um yeah he he's his it's like his family's even sort Copying of jumping in to, oh. yeah or jumping in to sort of defend, defend him, him and mm. trying to get him because I'm pretty sure somebody told him to do that that 
yeah, you know, definitely. to apologize. There must have been like a mum or a yeah. dad or a sibling or someone. Yeah. They must have been like, look, you got to apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it, whether it was genuine or not, it's too late, man. <laughs> you you just, put that shit you out just there. Don't put hands yeah. on like. Like I know we don't we're not meant to put hands on anyone, but I think in our culture specifically, you never put your hands on an elder person. Mm. You just don't do it. Yeah, but I, I this this new generation man, like mm. it, they're scary. They are um, scary. At this, just like I'm finding that we're losing so much respect now. Like in general, mm-hmm. in general, um, th- there's no one that's like. Uh, what's the word? What am I trying to say? That level of respect is missing now. Yeah, with this next generation, mm-hmm. I'm finding mm. that. Um, I I might be wrong, mm. but I don't know if it's because we we model cuddle too much. I think so. Or I don't know. Or it's you know because be of a number of factors. Though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's like you know even the internet, it, like social media. Yeah. Um, having our kids on those as well, like, you know, where, where they start seeing other people, you know, voicing their opinions and that attacking this person, attacking that person that has become like, you know, a thing to do. Mm. So I don't know, maybe I have no idea, but I, that instance with this guy is why I wanted it as my story of the day yep. is not the only one. Mm-hmm. Um, like, you know, there's a lot of other stories that I've noticed as yep. well with younger people. Younger uh, islanders hitting their elders. Yeah. That's a common thing now. Yeah. Which was a big no-no back then. Yeah. But it was um, so unheard. I've never heard of that yeah. when I was younger. I had never heard of such a thing. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. It's, it's these guys, like, you know, a, a lot of it is like they think they're cool. Yeah. They think that, like, you know, the just be, yeah, it's showing strength. But how, what, what strength is mm-hmm. that when you hit somebody that's like fetching how many years yeah. older than you? I hate that. It actually does the complete opposite. Oh, you man. look so weak. Don't yeah. You? It's so weak. Uh, do you feel strong now? Yeah. <laughs> now that you have to put out yeah. an apology video mm-hmm. and now your pr- your life is pretty much ruined. Yeah. Um, And now you put your family in a position where they now have to feel like they protect you from, yeah. you know, whoever's out in the street that mm-hmm. will just knock you out when they see you. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> news, news, news. That was the news for this week. Yeah. I haven't seen any updates though, but after that apology video, the comments were just like, it's <laughs> like, go if like, yourself. I yeah. saw a lot of go if yourself, yeah. like, and I was just like, I, nah, I didn't even see what the video was, but yeah. you must have really effed up to like. Even people were like, you know, nah, you deserve to die. There was, there was a lot of those comments. A lot as of death well. threats. I saw yeah. a lot of death threats. Um, but like, you, yeah. yeah. I, I like I wouldn't go to that level where I would just go f- try and find this guy and beat him up. Yeah, because that's what a lot of people are saying. Yeah, uh, but you you, you kind of feel that way when you yeah. see it. But I mean, like as always, this you know there might be two sides of the story, but regardless of the story, you do not lay your hands. It doesn't matter. Yeah. like I think a lot of people also were saying like you know maybe the old man said something very offensive because it it wasn't his father or anything. Mm. It seemed like. Um, another member yeah. of the family or something. Um, and, and, and he was, they were all drinking. Yeah. All three of them. Yeah. Um, I know people do things when they're like, you know, under the influence and stuff. Yeah. Cause in his apology video and, and I'm not uh, like, I, I'm not that fluent in, in my like, that's like Fasamua, yeah. but I couldn't really understand exactly what he was saying. But mm. what, what I can make out was that he was saying that, you know, he, the old, he was, he had his family. He had he did a live video so that his he could talk to his family or something, or his mm-hmm. family can watch and whatever. Um, but the old man had said something inappropriate, and he didn't want his family to hear that. And mm-hmm. he, he said that like um, when he tried to tell him, like you know, I don't know if the old man kept saying stuff that he ended up hitting him. But mm. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, next time that's how I time just be your phone and then go somewhere else. <laughs> Hard out. Just turn your phone off. Go somewhere else yeah. and record. Let's just walk fussy away. The guy. Yeah, Fetch. walk away. It's not. It's it's not worth it, man. Yeah. But um. Mm. Oh, thank you for that, cuz. I know it was a uh, um 
I had an adrenaline rush with that oh, story. Man. I, I knew as soon as I saw it go viral, that was going to be your, your news <laughs> for the day. I was like, Kaz has got this. I'm not even going to watch it because I know she's going to like have something to say about this. Um, but um, yeah, I, a lot of people had something to say yeah. about this. But yeah, um, uh, yeah, yeah, no good, man. Mm. No good. All right, we'll move on to our main topic. Oh yeah, it's okay. just getting better and Let's better. Just see it <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> um, okay. This topic that I have chosen this week is a very. I was very hesitant to do this. Yeah. Um, because I'm not going to lie, when I had initially run it by, um, not you, you're, you're usually, my cousin's very real, um, so she was all good, she was like, yeah, we'll do it, um, but I had told other people about this topic, and I'm just going to tell you what it is, and then I'll tell you what they said. So episode 29, guys, topic for today is why us islanders argue over money. <laughs> Ooh, no, just... Oh my gosh, Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes okay basically I um I ran this by a few um of my family members a few of my friends and I wanted their opinion because um I like to discuss things with others and see what they think mm. and the first thing that I was told was why can't you do a positive topic mm. and um I'm not gonna lie I was I was a little bit irked only because not at that person specifically but because it's that like Defense. swept under the rug. Oh uh, yeah. It's that no one wants to talk about it. And yeah. for me, this topic is very uncomfortable to a lot of islanders. Um <laughs> it's, it's uncomfortable un for us. It is. It's so I like if you can't already tell by my body language and how I'm acting right now, I am very uncomfortable to talk about this. Um, but I'm gonna talk about it because that's what we're what indie faith podcasts do. <laughs> we talk, oh, we need these conversations. Yes, yeah, so yeah. we talk about the real issues that we 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 face or we go through or others go through or we just bring it to light. Yeah. Um. So my my thing is, I don't think this is a negative topic. I think what happens is negative, mm -hmm. but to bring it out, I believe is a positive. Yes. Um. Because I'm not gonna lie, I did a lot of research last night, and I was very sad to find that there is nothing. <laughs> Not so much nothing, but barely anything accessible to 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 this specific topic. Yes. Um, I was very surprised because I, I know it's such a common thing that happens within our culture mm. that I was I was taken aback by how very little there was online. That they talk about openly. Yes. Yeah. Um so I was just I was very shocked because I spent a lot of hours <laughs> <laughs> trying to gather my notes only to find that um yeah it's just that no one wants to talk about it so there's very little for us to to research so yep. we're going to talk about it yep um <laughs> i think the first thing i'm going to to say is um with money specifically how are you with okay i'm not going to like get into the details and stuff of your of how you are but how do you think you are with money in your opinion Personally, yes. how I am, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I would say I'm very good. <laughs> I think so. Um. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Um, when I started doing it, but I, I started budgeting. Yeah. Um, I have, yeah, I don't remember how I started doing that, mm -hmm. but, um, it when I moved out on my own. Oh wait, with my partner and we had a we had our eldest son by then. Yeah. Um, it was like we realized like there was a we realized we were missing a lot of money. Like we were running out of money quickly. Yeah. And then I, I just I don't know, I just thought about I just thought to myself, like, where the fuck is all this money <laughs> going? Well, why we always like, you know, um just sort of getting by. Yeah. Mm. Um and then it wasn't until I just like uh, and I think it helps that like I was working in an office role anyway. Yeah. So um, I think at work, um, mm. I just opened up Excel and then I was just putting in how much I get, how much my partner gets. Yeah. And then just all our bills and stuff. Yeah. And then it, from then I was just sussing out where money should go. Okay. Um, but it was like you know, uh, f it was a it was a process because then I had to you know get my partner involved as well. Yeah. And he was really hesitant at first mm. because you know when you when you start sharing, mm -hmm. uh, 
financial you know, responsibility. Yeah, yep. and also like you know you get to see where his money's going, and it's almost that sort of intimidation as yep. well. Um, and that if like I guess he, understandably so, he felt like it was I was controlling where his money goes as yep. well. Um, well, but it wasn't until we both sat down together and tweaked it and did this and that and also put aside money for our um, personal, like, you know, whatever we want to spend it on mm -hmm. that we were both on board and now we can't live without it. Yeah. 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 She's um, not lying because she's also helped me with my budgeting with her Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> <laughs> I fall I fall back on like, you know, bad habits and then she has to bail me out with her <laughs> budgeting Excel sheet. So, um, <laughs> But it was all just purely because we were broke. Yeah. And I just had to figure out a way to find out where exactly is our money going. Yeah. And then from there, that's when I it just I just created this thing. Yeah. And then yeah. Okay. Um, but then for, uh, talking to like Balangis and and mm -hmm. and especially Sangers, yeah. like Asians, mm. they were like, uh, <laughs> "You didn't know that." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "Oh no." Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they they they've been doing it for years. And yeah. Yeah. I think that's how they get by. Yeah. Because I noticed that too with a lot of my friends who aren't Islanders, they are on top of their financial situation. Yeah. yeah. They um they have some sort of system. They have goals, you know, especially with their money. They know what they want to do with it. Financial advisors. Yes. I've never heard of that before. I did not even know what that was. Mm. Um, which brings me to this question of, do well, did your parents teach you anything about money? Uh. They taught me that there's a lot we can't afford. <laughs> <laughs> like when it came to money, um, growing up, all I knew is that we didn't have enough. Yes. Like, and I, I always wondered, like, yeah. cause I'm like, where the hell does money come from? Mm -hmm. And why are we always like poor? Cause yeah. that's what I always hear at mm -hmm. home is like, oh, we can't afford that. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're too broke. Or yeah. that's, that's the language that I hear all the time. Yeah. And yeah. The, like, but I never knew why and all I knew was both parents were working mm. and where's the money going? Yeah. Um, but I never, no, nah, I never learned yeah. anything about money yeah. with them. I'm the same. Um, I didn't, it was one of those things where I'm pretty sure it's with all Islanders. Like you don't question where money goes. No. You're not allowed to. You don't. You're not allowed. You really don't. Um, it's, it's one of those, <laughs> it's one of those, like I said, um, the VAR. <laughs> yes. The VAR, the respect is just, you cannot go over that line. Yeah. Um, because you don't know anything. You're yes. too little. It's none of your business. Yes. Yeah. And I get that. I do. Um, but I also understand where you said um, we couldn't afford a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, like I would go to other friends' houses when I was much older and I would see how different their lifestyle was compared to mine. Yeah. Um, and I hated how I felt because um, I wasn't an unhappy child. Um, we had a good childhood. We, you know, we got by. Yeah. Like if anything, we're very grateful. Like we, we had an all right life. It's not like we were that poor, like we didn't eat or anything. Um, but I, I could see the significant difference. <laughs> yeah. From how very little we had compared to another family. Yes. Yeah. And um, it only made me more determined to not be like that. Mm -hmm. I think if anything, our parents, well, for me, taught me that I don't want to live like that. Yeah. I didn't want to struggle. Yeah. Because I feel like we struggled. Um, and I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know if it's it's still happening now. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing a lot of changes though. I'm not going to lie. Mm. You know how, um, because I've never known other Islanders to own their homes. Yeah. So I, I am seeing a lot of changes, but I am still seeing a lot of the same things that are happening. And um, I was talking to to my sister and she had expressed that it's a generational thing mm. where um, the generation before us were not exposed to any sort of teachings or, or learn anything about money Yeah, because their parents were the same. I get that, but I also want your opinion on this because because I look at it like, and I don't know if this is because I'm biased and um, I, I feel a certain way about it, I look at that like a cop out. Mm. That's just how I feel. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. pretty sure you're not going to agree, but no, I no, just no. feel like that because <laughs> for me, if, if you know, you didn't like the struggle, mm -hmm. why would you then put that on your kids? Yeah. That's just how I look at it. Yeah. But what do you think? 
Um, hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. I, I understand. I understand completely how. Um, but um, I feel like you'll saying. have a more logical. No, look. no, no. I I completely understand what you're saying, and also, but. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one. Yeah, <laughs> I I think both. Yeah, I, I I can see where um where she's saying it's a generational thing mm-hmm. because it is it does become like a cycle when yeah. you see it. Yeah. Um. And especially when the, you're the younger generation and you look at the previous generations and it's the same shit over and over again. Um, I can see where she's coming from in that sense. And I can see that, like, especially if there's no improvement in each one. Um, and, yeah, yeah, 100%. I feel like, um, you know, if... Uh, what, what the hell am I trying to say? I think you're, I, I on, think, you're on the fence on both sides. Oh, no, no, I agree with both sides. Yes. Yeah, I agree with both sides. I can see that it's a generational thing as well because, mm. um, you know, what you teach your children, that's what they know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there are some of us, like we're a lot, I think we're a lot more privileged because we have, we grew up here in the mm-hmm. Western countries. We have the internet. Mm-hmm. We have it, our generation, we have something different that no other generation has, and we have information and knowledge at yeah. our hands. Yeah, literally with our phones and that. Yeah. Um. So we read a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. We come across a lot of news and a lot of other things that we're not exposed to, whereas the other generations didn't have that. All they had was what they know. Yeah. Their own little circle. Yeah. And if they know that, um, you know they're bad with money or how they're taught with money. Mm -hmm. Um, If their knowledge of money comes from just their parents, Mm. yeah, it will be the same cycle. Yeah. But I think uh, we're lucky that we, we, we can see on, you know, the internet and stuff like that, that, Mm. you know, there's budgeting or there's resources or there's, you know, other better ways to handle, handle money. Yeah. Um, and we also have Excel <laughs> for me. Um, it's so good that Excel though. <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. But I can I can 100% uh, agree with what you're saying as well. Yeah. Is that, yes, like, you know, there, there should come a generation that turns around and says, well, we suffered because, you know, the way we were raised, we suffered. So why do we need to do that to our children? Mm. So that, you know, try and figure out a different route. Yeah. You know, I, I get, yeah, I 100% yeah. agree with both of you. I think uh, my post, uh, she, like, uh, she was very much on that side of the generational mm. traits that, that occurred previously. Yeah. Um, whereas I am very set in my ways on this. Um, I don't agree. Yeah. I just don't. And um, if, if everyone disagrees, that's cool. That's just me. I yeah, don't yeah. agree. Um, but I think I, I also wanted to know what is your view on our people, you know, Pacifica people mm. and money? Like whenever you hear about Islanders and money, mm. what do you think? Oh, yeah, controversial, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very controversial, taboo, mm-hmm. swept under the rug. Yeah. Like, you know, we're all sort of smiling at church and everything, yeah. knowing that we have empty bank accounts. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. I think all of us, we all know that. Yeah. All of us know that. Yeah. But will we talk about it? No. Mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. Because I guess we're always taught that we're not allowed to 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 um yeah to talk about money yeah we're not allowed to um so like you know it's that same pride as mm. well um I think over the years you know we become greedy as well when it comes to money mm. and that you know a lot of the stuff that you 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 hide you know is wrong yeah <laughs> so. Things with money, I think people, you know, do a lot of sh- shifty things with it, so we can't talk about it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my my view on islanders and money is we're shit at it. We really are. <laughs> we're shit. We're behind. We're so behind. I mean, if you look at every other culture, and and, and um, like I know I'm going to be stereotypical here, but like that, you know, let's be real. We it look at the Asians. So, yep. Yeah. We look at the the you know, um, Indians, we yeah. look at all those other cultures, Italians, whatever, they're way better off than we are. Mm-hmm. They all got businesses, mm-hmm. kids, like even like um, how many, I have so many um, Muslim friends yeah. that are younger than me yep. and they all like job, 
save for a house. Mm-hmm. They've got a house. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as they get married. They buy a house, mm-hmm. yeah. But like before they even like before they're even getting into a relationship, yep. they're saving yes. already. Um that <laughs> Yeah. So they they're, they're way ahead of yep. us. We're 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 only just starting figure to yes. figure it out. Yeah. But yeah, those other coaches. Are yeah. Like, they're way, they, they way are. ahead. Because um, I do get defensive about our culture, yeah. especially when you're debating about it with other cultures. Yeah. So I have a lot of debates. Um, I, I do have a life, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's more in the sense of like when they when I hear Islanders and money, yeah, I feel bad for saying this, but I look at – I hear, all I can think about is debt. Mm-hmm. Um, no sense of like – like they just don't know how to like control their money or like look after their money or yep. um, poor. Yep. Um, because like, you know, from experience and from what you see and like you see other families who look just like you. Yeah. You just think, is this all we have? <laughs> is this all we, we are like just poor? Yeah. Um, another thing I wanted to bring up. I don't know if I should bring it up. Go for it. I'm going to bring what it up. What was that thing? Our right. Code. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Raging sugar. Raging sugar. Raging sugar. That's right. coming. Okay. Um, this one is a little bit of a sensitive one. Um, so I'm going to bring up. We've brought it up in past episodes, but fight a love, a love is. Mm-hmm. Um, for those who don't know what that is, it's basically when any sort of event happens, and you need to contribute, whether it being financially or with mats and um, food or, or performances or whatever you can give. Yeah. Fight a love, a love is. Um, I, I was a bit, um, cause you, when you grow up, you're already taught at a very young age that fat love and love is suck. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. But I wasn't taught the, the, the good side of what a fat love and love is. Mm. Like as soon as we, we would hear it, you know, you just roll your eyes. You're already annoyed. You're already frustrated. Cause you know, you're going to have to give. Yeah. Um, so I, I read, a couple articles last night, one was from 2016, of this Kiwi girl whose parents were from SAR mm. um, and they flew to New Zealand for a better life for yeah. their three kids. And that whenever Fight Love and Lovers came up, she would give, but it got to the point where she was so over it. Yeah. She was really over it. And she's a, she said it was so different because she's a New Zealand-born Samoan mm-hmm. and um, her parents like and her had a completely different upbringing. Yeah. So, um, you know, grew up with their cousins, went to school with their cousins, where they're in a completely different country. They're, yeah. Um, it's a Western country. They're trying to, you know, figure out what to do, how to live. Um, but then she said it didn't hit her until her sister had passed away. Oh. That, yeah. So it didn't hit her until her sister passed away that f- she saw the other side of a fight lover lovey. Because her, her sister passing away, I'm not going to call it a fight lover lovey, but... It was one of those, it was those instances where other people had to help and contribute Uh, towards her sister. mm. And then when she saw the amount of love and contribution and um, support they got for her sister's funeral, she realized it meant more Mm. and it made her very proud because she was just like all of those years of, you know, they call up for money, they call up for this. Yeah. Um, She would be pissed. She'd be like, this is bullcrap. Like, it's not fair. Why do we have to keep doing this? Like, yeah. you know, you guys keep saying it's a fat Samoa thing and rah, rah, rah. Uh, but then she, it was a real eye for her that after her sister passed away, her parents teaching her that showed that um, this is not the rewards you get from, but this is what a, what you do Yes, when, yeah. when these sorts of things happen. And it made her grateful because she knows they wouldn't have been able to afford, you know, the funeral and like um, what to do with their sister and, you know, just everything. Yeah. She was very grateful. Yeah. That was one side I read. Another article <laughs> I read. Didn't I was like, it wasn't as as touching as this one. That was positive. It was. It was really I, and when I read that, I was like, that's what it's all about. Yeah. I those those sorts of um fat love lovers and and money things. Mm. Um and she said they could have give what they could. It was yeah. one of those they didn't like, you know, set these massive amounts of, you know amounts that they need to contribute it was just whatever you can give you can give and she was very surprised by how much people gave yeah so it was i I thought it was so beautiful to read because i feel like that's the real fat samoa way that's just what i think um but then i read another article 
of a Balangi wife yeah. married to a Samoan man. And they are on the verge of getting a divorce um, because it's just too much. <laughs> she has just, she like, she is venting in this article. Like, she's not holding back in this p- specific, uh, particular article. Um, so her family, her partner, her Samoan husband, the family live overseas. Yeah. And she, she gets in on them quite a bit how it's, oh, wow. it's, it's like a sense of entitlement. They don't even ask, ask. It's like, just send me mm, this much demands. Yes. Yeah. Um, and and she loves her husband. Yeah. And she loves her husband's family because they family. <laughs> but she doesn't understand how people think that they're rich just because they live in a different country and um they have three children and they have a house. Yeah. Um, somehow it's been embedded in people that they're rich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't understand that. So she wanted advice. She was asking other islanders for their advice. Because she's she is on the verge of getting a divorce because yeah. she's just so unhappy. She doesn't understand how um, families do this to their son. Yeah, it's too much. Like and it's, and she said it's not even small amounts. She was like a lot of the times when you know if we can give we can give. Yeah. But why is it like why does it have to be these massive massive amounts <laughs> that no one can provide? She's like no one can give that much. Who could give that much? Who it's like your salary? Yes. <laughs> Exactly what she was saying. She was like, I barely have enough to get by yeah. with my kids. And for her, she puts her kids first. Yeah. And she said, um, for Islanders, they put their parents first. Yeah. And she was like, What but what about my kids? Mm. And I was just like, mm. <laughs> I was like, mm. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm a bit how do I say this? I get both sides, mm. but I also don't agree with a lot of the financial side of things. Oh yeah, because um, in okay, so there was a survey of four hundred Auckland Samoans, predominantly aged nineteen to thirty-five, on attitudes towards fight love and Wow! All right, and this this survey found many participants felt contributions had spiraled out of control. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> out of control. So um, she was just like. Her research, so this survey showed contributions could reach up to ten thousand mm. dollars. Up yeah, to yeah, this, actually, this, this ain't even a lie. I like, I, I don't even, I have nothing to disagree on because, <laughs> and the age to me was even more hilarious because it is nineteen to thirty-five. That's like pretty much our, like our, our generation. <laughs> yeah. So I was just like, um, okay. Towards the start. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Uh, I'm pretty, uh, I'm surprised there is a survey out there. Oh, I, I, I was, to be honest, like I said, I did a lot of digging last night and yeah. I was very surprised. I was sitting there like, what do you mean? Um, sorry, let me just find it. I just lost it. No, that's all right. But <laughs> yeah, I'm not surprised. I'm not either. And I was just <laughs> like, wait, let me, what is happening? What is happening? Oh my gosh, this is gonna kill me. No, oh, that's all right. But yeah. Um <laughs> if yesterday she said Auckland. I know <laughs> born someone. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I I would like to see how I would like to um like a survey on Australia? Know, no, Samoans. In general? Born in Samoa when they go over to Western countries. Oh, that'll be a good yeah. one. How do they feel about that? Um, cause I, 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 I'm interested in that as well. Cause yeah. they would know, you know, the, um, the traditions, they're, they're more in touch with the traditions than us that are born out here. Are. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see if they also feel the same way we do mm. when they move out into yeah. Western countries. I think it's different for them. It mm. would be different for anyone. I don't know. Look but this um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, Lani. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the survey pa- participants reported families had been forced to take out loans to meet financial obligations, while others said the practice had become too materialistic, with too much emphasis placed on the amount of money being exchanged rather than like just giving out of the goodness of your one's heart. Hundred percent. Um, I had nothing to say. I was just sitting there like, "This is it for you." <laughs> 
<laughs> like this is straight facts. And I, I, I felt bad because um, I, I do believe we could do more. Yeah. We could do more. It's just um, no one wants to do it. <laughs> it's greed. It is. It really is. Um, wait, what else did I see? Oh, my gosh. I'm just losing my track of thought at the moment. Okay. Since we're talking about fat lover lovies. Yeah. What do you think when you think of, when you hear fat lover lovey? Um, I... <laughs> The same as everyone. Mm. It's like, oh, here we go. How yeah. much? Um, mm. I, I, you know, you cringe every time you hear that yes. word. There's just so much. Um, even the word "follow me, love it." Like, yeah, like it's not a positive word. <laughs> Let's think about it. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I mean, you know, the meaning yeah. of the word anyway is inconvenience. Is, yeah, <laughs> that's what "fat love, fat love, love it." If you translate it to English, it means inconvenience. <laughs> um, but. And, and it's funny because, like, you tie that to, like, weddings. <laughs> there you go. Weddings and yeah, funerals. and birthdays. And that just... you have to call it an inconvenience. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, there you go. Um, but, yeah, it, it's – I find that, um, like, if we, if we really think about history, mm. our history, we, we are very – we are people that, um, you know, the concept of support is – you know, that we give to each other, yes. we, um, we help each other out. Mm. Um, that's, that's, that's entra- entrenched into our culture, even yep. way before colonialism. Yeah. You know, it's it, back when we used to, um, uh, you know, you can even see it. We have villages. Mm-hmm. We all work as a village, like to, you know, harvest, um, to do pan- plantations and yep. stuff like that. Um, but it, it's not uncommon for us to support each other, mm. um, you know, to support each uh, each other generally. Yeah. Um, but I find that not like you know, as time goes on, and with the power of money, mm-hmm. um, over time we're losing that like respect for you know that su- respect for support. Yes. To greed. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's the same with everything, I guess. Like you know, it, at first the intent, like you know, the 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 actual meaning to whatever it was. Yeah. Um, you know, it was so beautiful yes. and everything. It was so it was a it was so respectful, so honorable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was about union and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but then as time goes by, it's just like twisted. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like even fight love and love is itself. Yeah, it, it, it used to be you know like it was a beautiful thing to give from your heart to to support the family or um. And now it's just out of like, you know, oh, um, I'm going to be shifty about the money that you give me. I'm going to be shifty about the things that, you know, we, um, you know, this family gives and that family gives. We're going to compare what that family gave to that family. You know what I mean? Um, Like it's almost now, you know, just demand. Yeah. It's just like I feel that over time people have become a lot too entitled. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, that's what I feel when it comes to fight, love, love is these days yeah. is everyone's entitled. Yeah. Um, now you're, you're not asking, Yeah. you're just demanding for this money mm-hmm. and you think it's, and you, you won't try and understand where I am at my, like in yes. my life to, you know. Like it doesn't be, matter what you're going through. Yeah. Give um, us the money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Everyone gave, what's his name? Asuelo? Like mm. a hard time, that 90 day fiance thing. Yep. Um, everyone, mm-hmm. <laughs> there were a lot of people that were saying that, you know, um, it's scripted, blah, blah, blah. Regardless whether it was scripted or not, it's a real issue. Yes. And, um, you know, and you could see where he's trying to provide for his wife and his kids. Yeah. Um, but his, you know, his mom and his, his, his sister comes in and, and demands for this yeah. money mm-hmm. and it's not, how much was it that she was asking for? It was like. Was, Over a thousand, yeah. Eh? It was quite a lot, yeah. Because Kalani was even like, We can give, but not that much, yeah. And then I think they gave some, they gave money, but it wasn't what she wanted, what she wanted, yeah. And then it was just like, It meant nothing yeah. to them, um, but like, yeah, like regardless whether it's scripted or not, that's a real thing, yes. And 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 I've seen where people have give what they have given what they can mm-hmm. or what they have or what they can provide, yeah, but it's never good enough. And that's what I mean by entitled. Yeah. So it's like, well, you know, um, if you're not going to give me the amount that I expect 
you're, you know. Yeah, you obviously don't care. Yeah. And you're, you're shit. Yeah. Pretty, pretty much. much. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you, you don't brought mean that up. shit in my life. Yes. <laughs> that's, and that's how you feel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like people feel that. And we were talking about um this recently with the, the, the kupe, like at the, you know, at the end of church service where they have the alofas. Yeah. Like just the fact that, you know, where you compare how much someone puts in, mm-hmm. and, you know, and yeah. then like they tell, who, you know, ugh, they tell you how much each family Family's contributed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, money, like balangis, <laughs> it's a private thing. Yes. What you give, what you donate. Yes. It's a private thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you know, when, uh, like even on the internet and in charity. Yeah. You can opt to be anonymous. Yes. <laughs> Yes. But some ones want to expose. It's like they create this sort of battleground. Yes, and it becomes a competition. Yeah, and where it- they expose people. Mm-hmm. So they feel like, okay, well, if we, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a game. Yes. It's, a, it's all a game. Mm. So if, if, I, if I announce how much each family got, we can, for those that didn't give as much as they could, they can feel shame. Yes. So that next time they better provide yeah. how much I want them. Yeah. It's that expectation. Yes, that again. you should feel embarrassed. Yeah. You should you should be punished. Yes, you know what I mean. So that next Sunday, you you give what yeah. you're supposed to give, and then the next Sunday, that family has gone without food. Yeah, they got more money mm-hmm. in the church. So, like all that stuff, <laughs> it's like a it's like a cycle because then not only do we give more money to the church, mm-hmm. but then we come home and we have nothing. Yes. that's why we're poor. Yes, <laughs> then you're just like yeah, what? And it's the same with like five lovely lovers. Yeah. Like, we give okay, so now because this family has demanded this yeah. money, and if we don't give that money, yeah. we're gonna look bad. Yeah, we're gonna look bad to this person mm-hmm. and that person. The whole village is gonna yeah, talk everyone's about gonna it. Talk about it. Yeah. Mm. So you know what? We'll give them what they want. Yeah. But we won't eat. Yeah. We won't pay our bills. Yeah. We can't afford this. We yeah. can't afford that. So that's why we're where we are. Yeah. We're in step one. Mm-hmm. We haven't moved forward anywhere. <laughs> We've just taken like 10 steps back though. Yeah. And I I told my friends, because I thought it was a normal thing, mm. the um the church thing. And I don't want yeah. people coming for us. Okay. No, no. I'm just saying. The church thing, um, where as soon as you say Armini and the guy walks out and he starts announcing with his red book. With his red book, <laughs> by the way. Um, and he starts reading it out how much every they were like in shock. They were just what, what do you mean? And I'm like, no, they read out how much each family has given to the church. Yeah. And they were like, we have never heard of anything like that in our lives. <laughs> They're like, and then they even said the same thing. Isn't money like a private thing? Like, yeah. And I was like, not to us. Say. <laughs> it's quite, it's made quite public. Um, it, and they're like in a place it's a public of record. Yeah, they were just like in a place of like, you know, worship. And I'm like, yeah, they're like, they had no, they just could not comprehend it's it. Like, and I'm so like, even um, God's judging. Yes. <laughs> they were just like, what? And I was like, I know, I know. Um, but I, I get what you're saying about that, cuz because this thing about um giving to the point where you and your family suffer. Mm. Uh, it's gonna go deep. Okay. I I wanted to talk about how island parents have now done this thing where they will work for mm-hmm. a certain period of time. Yep. And then as their kids get older, their kids take over. Mm-hmm. And they retire. <laughs> They retire at like 40 um, and <laughs> we're going to talk about it. So they retire at 40. The kids who are just fresh out of high school, yeah. you know, not going to uni, yep. straight to work, they become the breadwinners. Yep. Um, and I, I, I need to talk about this because I've seen it with so many families. Mm-hmm. I've talked to a lot of unhappy kids mm-hmm. and um, it needs to come out. And um, I wanted to get your thoughts on – what do you think about that specific situation? I hate it. <laughs> I straight hate it. Okay. Um, <laughs> we see it. I, I see it a lot. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you. <sighs> okay. They, 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 we'll go there. Yeah. Um, yeah raging. So let's lift the way. <laughs> Look, um, I just. Okay. So the parents who retire early. I've heard this actually. I've actually heard somebody say this that um they've they've said this to someone else and they said, Oh, how many kids do you have? Oh, we have so we have eight kids or seven kids or whatever. 
Oh, good on you. It means you can retire early. Straight out of their mouths. It means you don't have to work. You can finish mm-hmm. work early. What does that even mean? <laughs> Just, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just the fact that that's the conversation they had mm-hmm. and that was what was said mm-hmm. and that's the expectation. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. was like, ah, oh, so is this a common thing that now, you know, people have it in their head that the more kids you have, yep. this might even go into the stereotype of why we have so many yeah. kids. Yeah. That it's your retirement fund. <laughs> you know what I mean? That mm-hmm. you ha- you're you going to go and have all these kids yeah. so that they can bring in the money so that you can quit your job and relax at home. Yep. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, just, you know, um, I, I've seen, I can't say exactly that I went through it. Um, I'm trying to think if I have. Because... My dad's very, he's also against that. Yes. Um, And so I was blessed in a way. I'm not like, you know, trying to brag or anything. But yeah, I was blessed with my dad Mm. um, that we didn't have to do that. Yeah. But seeing, you know, other families going through that um, and just that same old mentality that, you know, um, you know, our kids, you know, we've done our role. As a parent, mm-hmm. now it's them to pay back what we, you know, we, we've we provided to them. Yep. And I'm not saying that, uh, we've mentioned this before, mm-hmm. but it's not like, you know, we're, we asked to be born. Yep. And that's the same, you know, I know that that's a common response that we have as well to ourselves because yes. we will never say it to them. <laughs> yeah, we will never do that because we want to live. Yeah, but like, I mean, because now it's out, it's out. Um, yeah. We, you know, we never asked to be born. Yeah. And like... You know, if it, if the reason now that I know the reason that we're born is to work for you, that was your intentions. It wasn't because you wanted me. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't because you wanted children. Yeah. You wanted like bloody staff members. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted income. <laughs> um. Yeah. So um, I I I hate it because I see a lot of people suffer, mm-hmm. and then not only that because they suffer from the way that they're brought up that way, mm. then they do it to their kids. Yep. Um, and it's the same cycle. Yep. And they feel like that's that's the way that it should be. Mm-hmm. And they don't see any wrong in that. Yep. Um, a lot of uh, Samoans, like I can only speak for Samoans, but yep. I've seen a lot of Samoans, they will go to the grave saying that that is the way it should be. Mm-hmm. Um, and we know a lot of family members that will say that yeah. as well, that this is the way it should be. Yeah. Kids should be working and providing for their parents. Mm-hmm. Their parents shouldn't have to work yeah. because, you know, they were the ones that cared for them, raised them, brought them up. And it's like, yeah, well, that, isn't that the job of yeah. a parent? Isn't that what you have to do? Yeah. It's also go to work as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? What pisses me off is that, the bad thing about this, and this is where I've noticed a lot as well, because you, you look at it in, in, in different increments as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we work, we, we'll go and we'll work for them, mm-hmm. give them the money that they want. Um, and then, you know, by the time we have families <laughs> and we want to move out, like it's be, it's now an issue. Yes. Now the kid has to feel guilty because yep. now he's going to leave and he's going to have, you know, go find his own place and provide there. Mm-hmm. But it's almost, and I have some families I've seen, they will go have their own, like, you know, they got their own home, yep. they got their own family, but they still have to send money back to the parents. Mm-hmm. That's expected. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> there's a lot I can say about this. this uh, just, I'm just going to go. You just opened a whole can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, and then there's others where that's the mentality. They don't have to go to work. The kids have to work, provide money. And then when the kids move out, what then are they going to do? Mm. Like, this is my, 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 one of my pet peeves about like, you know, the older generation is that they only think about the now. They only think of, because, you know, and, and I don't know if it's, it's the greed or what, but they want the money now. And it's not like they're saving it for later, but they, you know, they have the money now. 
And then when all these kids move on, because mm-hmm. eventually they're going to have, you know, fi- have their own family. They're going to find, you know, they're going to live their life and you're stuck on your own. What are you going to do then? They mm-hmm. don't think about that. And yeah. then, then you get to a point where it's like, okay, well now I have to burden your kids by bouncing around and living with other members of the family. Mm-hmm. Like, and I've seen it work well. But yes. I've also seen it work terribly yeah. where no one wants to take the parent. Yeah. Um, but that's that's the full cycle of, is, of, of, of how it is. It kind of is. Because <laughs> um, I asked my friend, my friend this, we were on the phone last night and um, my Fijian friend, and um, I was I was asking for their opinion, if it's the same for, for other islanders as it is for them. Yeah. And um, they, they, <laughs> they pointed out something that I didn't even think of until they said it. So in their opinion... <laughs> in their opinion, islanders depend on the doll. Yeah. Everyone chill. It's not everyone. I'm not saying all islanders. I'm saying uh, really? <laughs> Are you sure? We know Centrelink. <laughs> right. It's uh, next home. Yeah. Um, so she she had actually told me from experience, yeah. Islanders depend on the doll. Yeah. And and they they are around our age and, and everything, and they said that growing up <laughs> You know how how back then Centrelink was not as strict as they are now. Mm. I don't know mm-hmm. if any of you have been to Centrelink or been on Centrelink. They are nowhere near as strict, um, that like the way they were like they're strict as hell now. Oh yeah. But back then there were like bonuses for kids, like and each kid would get a bonus, and then um, yes, yeah. And yep. then when you have a kid, you get money for having a kid. Yep. On the doll. So um, the more kids you have, the more money you get. Yeah. Um, initially so that when um, <laughs> you live off that until the kids like I don't know 16 because you can start working at like 15 16 yeah then Centrelink got to a point where they're like hang on we're giving a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> to people who could potentially work yeah and um, they've decided to cut that so now but then those people who who lived off the doll lived off the doll they were like oh crap I haven't worked in like two decades Mm-hmm. So now I have to rely on my kids to to True, to bring in the yeah. money. So now that they're old enough to finish school and start working, yeah, that's where my next source of income is going to be. Mm. And um, I have a lot of friends, a lot of family who who go through this. Yeah. And again, you're right; it can work all right for some families, but I've seen instances where it it Most destroys. Inst- yeah. It destroys families. Yeah. Um. Because I am, I am not going to sugarcoat this. I am a hundred percent against that. Yeah, I am not for it in the slightest. I don't agree, um, and um, I have copped shit for it. I have copped the the shit for for my opinion on this specific topic because it's to me, <laughs> like you said, when when parents have children, is that the only reason why you had children? Mm-hmm. So, like, as a child. In your mind, you think, oh, um, you you need to work towards something. You're not being sheltered or, or like, um, what's the word? Like supported or pushed towards some sort of passion. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you just, you go through your life thinking, do school, finish school, start working. Yeah. Um, and then after you start working, your parents get to stop working. Yeah. And then you start supporting your family. Yeah. And I think most people think that's normal. Yeah. A lot of people think that's normal. Even the kids get to a point where they're like, oh, that's normal. Yeah. Um, and then they realize later on after it, yeah, they have nothing to show <laughs> for all of their hard work or, or like obviously they're helping support the family, look after this and that. Um, I'm going to get a bit dark here, but I, no, kn- I knew a boy who was around my age and the financial pressure that he had ended up killing him. Yes. Yeah. He, he killed himself um, because it's too much. Yeah. I just cannot fathom <laughs> putting so much pressure on a child. Yeah. Now that I'm a parent, kids don't have, they shouldn't have to worry about that stuff. No. They shouldn't have to worry about supporting adults. Yep. <laughs> That's just what I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Cause I'm now at that point in my life where I will never want my kids to look after me. Yes. I don't yeah. want her to look after me. Um, even if I get old and, you know, I can't even wipe my ass, 
Put me in a home. <laughs> yeah. But see, that's where, um, that's the difference. I'm going to go stereotypical again, mm. but that's the difference between other cultures and us. Yeah. It's like they they look ahead. You know what I mean? Yes. And that's what I mean by the the ret- actual retirement. <laughs> yes. When you're, old, when you're old and crippled and can no longer work, yep. when you're physically unable to work, mm-hmm. what are you going to do then? Yeah. But you see all these other cultures, mm-hmm. most of them, they already, they've already thought about that sort of stuff. Mm. They've already thought about what their life is going to be like. What are they going to do with their life? Yeah. Um, they're going to, you know, they have like superannuation. Yes. They put aside savings yeah. so that when they get to that point, they know that they don't have to burden their children. Mm. Uh, like, you know, that's basically, but let's be honest. Let's yeah. be honest. Like, you know, I, 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 it, like for myself, I would never ever feel right to to have to, you know, get my kids to work and provide for me. Yeah, I feel like I hundred percent believe that that is the job of a parent. Like we're the ones that are supposed to provide for them. Mm. We're the ones that are supposed to teach them how to live the best. You know, live yeah. their best life. Yeah, to go out there on their own to be independent. Yeah. We're not supposed to teach them to stay home mm. and be like, you know, and not go anywhere else yeah. because you need them. Yeah. Like we, that's why a lot of us have, um, and I noticed a lot of us Islanders, but we have a lot of um, issues sort of being successful. Yeah. Like it's only recently now, you know, we're starting to see it, but when we see a lot of other islanders who have made it, yep. we're like, it's like we, um, we're, we're, ne- we're not envious of it. Yes. We're like, it's like we celebrate them yep. because they're living the life yep. that we all dream of. Yeah. You know, they're lucky they got oh, to, sorry, sorry. no, you're right. You know, we, we look at them like, oh man, you're so lucky that you were able to save, you know, your own money. Yeah. We're lucky that you were able to, to, you know, live your dream yeah whereas you know i have to do this for my family and we're, yeah. you know it's just a cycle and yeah. i can't do anything else <laughs> yeah but like um yeah I, I <laughs> like i just feel like you you know our parents uh our, and our great grandparents never ever thought about what you know life is gonna what their their plans are yeah. right till the like end they didn't think ahead yeah, yeah, right to the end. I mean, that's why Balang has created superannuation. Yeah, that's why they they have retirement funds. Yeah, pension. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like those are things that you should be, you know, um, preparing for yourself. Yeah, so that you know where you're going to be when you can't work. Yeah, um, and not rely on the kids that need to work for themselves. Yeah, um, but yeah, a, a lot of a lot of the older generation. They they don't think that far ahead, mm. so then they're being they're bounced around their children, yeah, sort of thing, yeah, um, living here and there, and then also like I don't know if a lot of <laughs> now I'm gonna go there, aged care, like homes, yeah, um, no one thinks about that. Why? Because everyone's ashamed yes. of what other people think. Yep, they like you know uh, I. I hate that, you know, that is, is, is looked up, is frowned upon Mm -hmm. in our culture and our society that, you know, if someone decides to put their parent in an aged care home, Mm. um, that everyone's going to look at that person like they're, how evil can they be to do that to their parent? Yeah. Like, um, I, 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 I a hundred percent disagree with that because I, you know, one, it's none of your business Mm -hmm. and two, like, you know, Sometimes that's the best option. Yeah. Sometimes that's the only option. Yeah. Um, I, I know a lot of, um, like, you know, uh, grandparents that have dementia. It is hard. Mm-hmm. It is very hard to monitor them at home. Yeah. You need professionals for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, the, you know, it's, it does take a toll on, on our lives. Mm. You, you, like, you know, to be that 24-7 care for, for your parent. Yeah. As well as twenty four seven care for your children. Yeah. Um, 
I, I, I don't judge anyone that puts their yeah. parents in aged care. But I don't see why it's such a terrible thing to do. A lot of them say that um, it's, it, well, in, you know, the Samoan culture, like it's, it's very, uh, what is it? Like how dare they put their mom in there when they're alive themselves that they can take care. It's norm. It's, it's been normalized that children have to take care of their parents. Mm-hmm. That it, so it, unless so if a parent goes into the aged care home, it's only because they have no kids. Yep. But if they have family, why are they going to an aged care? Mm. It, it's more the 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 tradition of parents being taken care of by their children. That I get that, but then I'm also like, but you you those children keep bouncing them parents off to anyone anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um oh, just this yeah. I this is a very touchy subject for for everyone because it's not something anyone wants to talk about. Mm. Um I know we're going to cop some shit, but that's okay. <laughs> the, the, you yeah. know, some people like it does I've seen it work well with some families. I've seen it too. I'm not going to lie. And to, to props to them, man. I when I see it work, I love that. Yeah. Because I'm like because they both have a mutual understanding. Yeah. Like um my friends whose parents bought a house, they're helping to pay off the house because they know that they own that house. All yeah. of them own it equally. So God forbid anything was to happen to their parents. They've already made arrangements so that if anything was to happen to them, the house is in their name. Yeah. They can do whatever, whatever they want with it. Yeah. So they can either stay in the house, raise their own families, or they can sell it and then use whatever they get to buy their own individual houses. Yeah. And when I see that sort of stuff, that to me is the right way. Yeah. That to me is their parents have thought ahead. Yeah. Their parents are looking to the future. Their parents are setting them up so that if anything was to happen. Yeah. They're all right. They're going to be all right. And I think that's the the real parenting. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, have you noticed that where it works well has that mutual understanding? Yes. There's no demand for mm-hmm. it. There's no you have to do this. You can't do anything else. It's always in both agreements. Yeah. Um, and that's like what – how do you feel about, you know, the whole um, mentality the where, you know, the elders – like doesn't matter which generation, but the the generation before you know more than you do. Kids don't know anything. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, um, how do you feel about, you know, that mentality? Even though kids are now adults, mm-hmm. <laughs> but they're still considered as kids. As kids. Yeah. But it's one of those pick and choose. Like they pick and choose when you're a child. True. So it's like you're a child when I need you to do something for me, but you're an adult when I need you to do something that I don't know. I don't know mm. how to do. Yeah. Um, th- my mentality behind that is um, that's what builds walls <laughs> between kids and parents. When when it's that sort of mentality of you don't know anything, you're a child. Yeah. Um, because that's not 100% true. Like I know as an adult, you, of course you know more than like a young kid who doesn't know anything. Yeah. But as they become adults, they know some stuff. Yeah. They know stuff that you don't even know. Yeah. And it's not trying to brag or disrespect or anything. It's they've had, they've learned a lot of stuff and been um, fortunate enough to have, you know, access the internet or, or the education that they got, or they learn new things or they working in an environment where they, they just know more. They've retained more. Yeah. You're never going to have a good relationship with your kids. If you have that sort of mentality, that's yeah. just what I think. Um, my daughter and I, I know I always bring her up, but I, I don't want to ever have that sort of thing with her where I'm just like, you don't know anything. Mm-hmm. Because I know she's young now. She literally does not know that much yet. But as she gets older, she's going to know something that I don't know. Oh, yeah. And then um, I'm not going to be like, I'm not going to reject it or dismiss it and be like, you know, you're a child. Yeah. You can't tell me, you know, you know more than me or because that it just, it goes nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think like people need to understand that, you know, you c- you will never get to a level where you know everything. Yes, no one. You can will. be the smartest person yeah. ever, but you won't know everything. Yeah. Um. Once we can accept that, I think yeah. that's when people can have open conversations. Yes. 
But when you're in a mentality where you think you know everything yeah. and that you can't tell me what to do, yeah. when you're very close-minded like that, yeah. you will never learn. Yeah. You will never understand that there's a better way of doing mm-hmm. it. Um, and there's so many better ways of doing yeah. it. Even for lovely lovers, there's yeah. so many better ways of doing it. Yeah. But the way that we're sticking to and we don't want to change because people are so closed-minded and don't want to talk about these things and don't want to address the bad side of it, um, that's why it is the way it is. Yeah. And that's why, like, you know, there's so much bad connotation stuck to all of these things, mm-hmm. especially money towards that money within, you know, the islander community. Yeah. Is because we're all so close-minded about we're all protective of things like this, mm-hmm. and we don't want to talk about it. Mm-hmm. But we won't change anything. Yes, <laughs> it's like we'll complain about it. Yes, but we won't change anything. Yeah. Um. But because I, I also have seen elders as well, sh- like shit on this. Mm-hmm. They complain too about the yep. way things are. Yep. But like you know. It's all done behind closed doors that, but they won't say it out in the open where they can actually make a change. Yeah. Uh, and that's why we're, we're still doing the same shit yeah. over and over again. And that's why we're still labeled broke. Yeah. We're still poor. Yeah. We're still like, you know, Taragos. <laughs> and like, <laughs> Just like, I don't know. It was just did the flow was going. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, I threw, tar- I, was roll. I threw Tarago in there. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Um, but look, like, you know, um the essence of of our our, our culture and uh, you know our history is to provide support yes. is to provide service yes but in a way where you give what you can yeah i mean and um, then the other party is grateful for what yeah. you give that's that's how it works and yeah. i feel like that's the fat sum all way that is to me. That's the hundred for me. The hundred percent. The fat side more way is give what you can, and then everyone being grateful for what you gave. Yeah, but the the but that's why like, um, no one knows the essence of. We just know. Oh, this is the fat side more way. Oh, that's another fat level lover. That's, yeah, you know, all this, but they don't sort of look at what well, what was the true essence of these old traditions that mm. we're still carrying on. Yeah, and like, why can't we? you know, like keep that essence but change the way we do it. Yeah. Like I don't think there's any hard rule that says you can't change the way we we like, you know, people are sort of we're we're becoming a lot more greedy with the way we are. That's already gone away from what, you know, the true essence of it is. Mm-hmm. And we it's now it's just getting worse. Yeah. I, I find it's getting worse. Yep. That like, you know, I remember when I was younger like, you know, back then it was like you'd ask for it. Yeah. As I'm getting older, it's now more demands for yeah. it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and then it's more like, you know, I'm going to judge. Mm-hmm. And then even with people that, you know, um, yeah, have fight, love, love is, and they're the ones that have to <laughs> gil the kupe. They're gil, gil kupe. Mm. A shifty with that. Yes. Let's be honest. Yes. Let's be honest. Like, you <laughs> know, there's, there's a lot of reasons why there's a lot of debts and then why there's like, you know, money missing whenever there's these fight lovers. Mm-hmm. But we're being shifty with it too. Mm-hmm. So we're already taking away from the true meaning of what, you know, our, our culture is supposed to be, which yeah. is support and service. Yeah, You can't do something shifty, hide it behind your back and then expect, you know, expect to be given things mm-hmm. and then de- like or like you know hide money behind your back and then demand more money yeah like it's that shiftiness that you know our generation like that's why we hate um fight love we love is that's mm-hmm. why we hate that we have to give money because yeah. if you're already being shifty about it like up front to your face <laughs> Why would you want to give? Yeah. And it, uh, and I find that's where a lot of confrontation, conflict, and that happens within the family mm-hmm. is that, um, you know, the the parents being shifty about it. Yeah. Or whoever's the, you know, organizing the money mm-hmm. or the girl kupe or whoever, yeah. whatever, whoever's got the, the yeah. treasurer or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, that's that's where the issue is. When you start being shifty with the money, yeah. then it causes so much shit. Yeah. There's a domino effect. Yeah. But, you know, if because I've also seen where, you know, someone's actually like there's there have been treasurers that, you know, have been honest with the money mm. and, you know, uh, distribute it evenly. Um, they do the right thing by it. 
and it, you know everyone loves it like everyone wants to give more yeah they, from the heart they want to provide more they yep. want to be you know of more of service because you're giving mm-hmm. um but if you're doing the opposite then no one would want to yeah everyone's going to be unhappy that's yep. why we argue <laughs> that's why we argue <laughs> and i hate that we argue because you know that that quote you know money is the root of all evil yes i did not understand that until i got older and I don't think it's it's money, so to speak. I think it's the people. Because <laughs> money can like work either way, like either oh, you, yeah. you know. But it's it's the people who who become evil over money. Yeah, that's what happens, and I think that's what causes a lot of issues, a lot of problems, a lot of conflict. And it's sad because it's it's within a family. Yeah. Um. It needs to change. I do not want to. I don't want our people to still stay in this mindset. Yeah. Because um, I don't know if anyone's know it's not working. <laughs> no. It's and not working. You're getting more and more kids leave, running away from home. Yeah. Suicidal. Yeah. Um, yeah. And like, I don't know, probably from soon fussing their elders. <laughs> like, you know, yeah, we just the kids are starting to lose so much more respect. Yeah, and you can't expect respect mm-hmm. if you're being, you know, yeah. um, evil about it. Yeah, so. like I do want our people to to be better. I just want us because like, we can do so much, man. I just I can't stress that enough. Oh yeah, hundred like, percent. Yeah, like I've seen other families, like a lot of um families I know now. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Financially, they're, they're setting their kids up. And I love that. As soon as I hear about that, especially because we, we have cousins and stuff, and they've all, the siblings started off buying a house together. Mm. Then they've branched off to buy their own houses for their own families. Now they're working on helping their kids yeah. buy their own homes. Yeah. But it's, you know what, um, the, you know, I think – Another reason why we have so much issues about money and mm-hmm. around money um, is because we don't have the knowledge. Yes. We don't know. We've never, ever been taught how yep. to handle money. Yep. Um, even in schools, yep. you don't get taught how to how to handle money. Uh, and, and it's like it's, it's purposely done so that, you know, you follow the system. Yes. Um, and, you know. I'm not just shitting on 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 our older generation how things are as well. Like at the same time, they yeah. also lack the knowledge of yeah. how to handle money. Mm-hmm. They don't know about budgeting. Yeah, um, no one knows. Um, you know, a lot like a lot of you know uh, a lot of people didn't, don't even know about superannuation. Yeah, um, a, and you know that you can save money for your future, um, or that you can have retirement money. That it. A lot of us don't know about those sort of mm. things. And I think that's why our generation are doing different things and yep. we're we're um more open to 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 starting our own businesses yeah. and, and stuff like that. Cause we know we know now. Yeah. Like like I said, we, we we're the generation that grew up with the internet. Yeah. We're the first generation to grow up with the internet. Um, or my generation is yeah. <laughs> like or um, where where like I'm in my mid thirties, almost in my mid thirties. So I was there before and after the internet. Mm-hmm. So in that sweet spot. Yeah. So I know what life was like without the internet, and yeah. I know what life is like after the internet. And um, I think that's where most of our generation on that line, where we're more in- innovators, we're more um, thinking about business, we're yeah. thinking about real estate, we're thinking about, you know. Yeah. And you're just so open to change. Investment. Yeah. But that's because now we have knowledge in our own hands. Yeah. Like we, we, we sort of, whatever we, you know, have a question, like mm. if, if ever we're like sort of unsure about something or we don't have knowledge on something, yeah. we can YouTube it. Yes. We can Google it. Yeah. Our parents didn't have that. Yeah. So in in their defense, yes, they were like and, and it's the lack of knowledge. And the education lack of knowledge that they got. of yeah, mm. um, as well. And so like for us, we have a bit. We're in a better position to change things. Yeah. We're in a better position to sort of um, be like, okay, well, there's a better way of doing it now because mm-hmm. we, you know, we know what we can. If we like, 
I don't know, if we start a business, we yeah. have more money, blah, yeah. blah, blah. We, we're also looking at, um, you know, we're already thinking about our retirement. We're already thinking about how much money that we're going to have when we finish work. Yeah. You know, we're, we're already thinking way ahead, whereas our previous generation don't think that way. Mm. Their mentality is just on the now. Yeah. Um, and it's always been that way. Yeah. And, and I think that's where they fall down is, um, yeah. Yeah. is they they don't think that far ahead mm-hmm. um and they don't know anything about what <laughs> they don't know how to like i mean they know that you go to work you get money and then you spend money and there's no sort of savings yeah you spend as you know bills hand, yeah. whatever um they don't even look at getting a better job mm. they just look at whatever job they can get yeah and it's mostly factory and then you just do that cycle, mm-hmm. have kids, you provide for your kids. You, you know, your parents are like now they're old, they can't live on their own. Now you're going to have to take care of them. Um, it's that same cycle over and over again. Mm. Um, but yeah. You're right, Kaz, you're right. <laughs> but we need to change that. We do. And that's and we why are. we talked about this. That's why we needed to talk about this because um, it's not benefiting anyone. Especially our younger generation. No, no, not like at all. It's just not doing any anyone any good. Yeah. And um, but I, I mean, uh, like with people who have that mentality, they don't accept that there's you know, um, that we're changing. Yeah. For those that are very close minded, like regardless whether you want to or not, um, it's inevitable that things are going to change. Yeah. And um. You, you can sit there and bitch about it, but mm. it's the 21st century. Yeah. Um, it's a different world now yeah. compared to before. Yeah. Compared to back in your time. Mm. Um, and it doesn't mean your kids don't love you. No. That's another thing. Like, I know there's so many kids out there that are just too terrified to move forward, as in just move in any other direction besides True. the one that they're stuck yeah. in. Because of fear of, you know, their parents thinking that they don't love them or don't respect them or whatever. That is not the case, man. Or the fact that, like, they might get disowned because, yes. you know, they they want to move on with their lives yeah. but the parents want them to stay home. Yeah. Mm. You're crippling your children. That's just what I think. Yeah. Um. So if for any kids out there who feel stuck, you're not alone. Um. Message me, man. Like, I'm, I can help. <laughs> I can talk to you Um. because I, I, I sort of, ha- like, understand and, you know, I get it. Um, but yeah, it doesn't mean that, you know, you don't love your parents and to the, those parents doesn't mean that we don't love you parents. It just means we want to do more. Yeah. Yeah. But give your children that space yeah. to let them be independent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give them that, like, you're like, if you're a good parent, they'll come back. Yeah. They will come back. And like, if you let them go and grow on their own, let them go succeed in yeah. life. You know, the first person they're going to think of when they, you know, hit big is yeah. their parents. Yeah. And that's when, you know, all your, like, that's when everything will come back tenfold. Yeah. Um, and, and same with me. Like whenever I, you know, whatever I'm doing, if I, if I, I like my aim is to hit big. Yeah. My aim is to get, you know, become successful. And obviously in my mind yeah. is my parents. Yeah. In my mind, I'm like, I, I want a home for my parents. Yeah. But when they look at me now, like not my parents, but anybody who looks from the outside in, just because I left home, they think I abandoned them. Yeah. Or that I'm not supporting them. But they don't know that we need to break away from the nest. Yes to go and live our lives so that we can find a way to come back and bring something back to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? How is it that like, you know, Islanders, uh, particularly like Samoans who live in Samoa, Mm. they send their kids overseas in the Western countries. Why? Because you want to find better opportunities because you can't find them in Samoa. Mm. So you want them to go out and be successful. But then like, you know, when they when they are living their lives and then it's like and they're not providing as soon as you have sent them over there mm-hmm. <laughs> like then they're like bad kids or yeah. they're selfish or they're you know what i mean um it, there's never a uh, uh you can't um measure you, you there's no specific time or you you'll never know yeah <laughs> you'll never know if they're going to you know sort of find um 
whatever it is, their purpose or whatever yeah. that they can sort of give back to you. But if you're on their backs all the time, like they're not going to find anything. Mm. Um, but I don't, there's a lot. I, like, there's a lot. I think we could go five topics. Yeah, <laughs> like, we could talking about this. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's it's an, it's not it's not black and white. No. It's no, not. It's not definitely not one size fits all. No. Um even literally. <laughs> <laughs> but um We needed to lighten the mood, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I'm not like I know I'm going like, you know, I know there's gonna be a lot of unhappy people out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but hey, we gotta have these open conversations. Yeah. If you don't we we're, we're not gonna like what everyone else is gonna say about yeah. it, but that's that's the whole point of real talk. Yes, is that you know we all need to have open minds yeah. to come to an understanding so yeah. that we can actually make a change. Yeah, even if you don't agree. Yeah, but still be open minded to change. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of things that I don't agree with. Like this was probably like I'm not saying that this is the like right way, but you know. If some, like, you know, if, and I don't agree with it, but it might be wrong. Like, I might yes. be wrong. But, you know, I'm not hearing any other side sort of, <laughs> I'm not hearing them talking about it. I'm yeah. not hearing a conversation about it. Yeah. Um, I'm not finding that much information about yeah. it. <laughs> like, I'm not hearing your side, you yeah. know what I mean, where it works well. Yes. Um, But if we have those conversations, then, happy yeah. Happy to discuss yeah, those. happy to discuss. Seriously. We're not here to sort of say that this is the right way or wrong way. Yeah. We're just saying that there needs to be more conversations mm-hmm. about this, more open yeah. conversations about this, and that that doesn't end in uh, fist fights. Yes, <laughs> or punching your elders. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Did you have anything else to add, Cuz? Ah, oh, there's a lot more. I'm to be honest. <laughs> there'll probably be a part two. <laughs> I can already sense that. Um, what about you? Do you feel like? Do you feel you've um. Uh, covered everything that you wanted in this? I feel like, like I said, I think we have heaps to say. Yeah. But I also feel like this was a great introduction into this particular topic. Yeah. Because like I said, there was barely anything online. I could not believe it. Like you can find like rubbish things about twerking bums and stuff, but you can't (laughs) find... I was so annoyed. I was like, how is it so easy to access that sort of stuff? But there's nothing that like... There were articles and different things, but there was very little information about something to me that's such a massive issue in our in our community. Yeah. I just couldn't I still can't believe it. Yeah. Um and that's why we need to keep talking about it. We need to bring it up. We need to discuss these things. Um, because like I said, my friend who was only very young. Yeah. Um, it still it saddens me even now that they had no other they just felt they had no other choice but to end it. Yeah. And to me, that is if that's happening to one person and mm. you know what's happening to more than our like our kids, this is <laughs> this is what we need to do to make sure it doesn't keep happening. Yeah. And if you are not open to that sort of change, then you are part of the problem. Yeah. And I cannot be part of a, 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 a you know, a sort of group who are happy to pretend like they turn a blind eye and they just pretend yeah. like it's not happening. Yeah. Um, because this it just bothers me so bad. And even if your kids are not outright saying it to yes. you, they're feeling it and yeah. they're struggling and you do not, like, don't underestimate the level of depression yep. that they might be in because of it. Mm-hmm. Um, You know, we, like, you might think that they're just going with the flow, mm-hmm. that they're good kids yep. and, and, you know, that they listen, they yep. obey, but, like, you don't know the suffering behind it yep. all. Um, like, the, like to me, what are you going to do if, God forbid, that was your child? Yeah. Like that's that's what I I want us to stop. Like right now. Yeah. If if like, because then it's too late. What are you gonna do? Like you're gonna come back and be like, oh no, I should have done this. But the kid's gone. Yeah. And I think that's my main goal is to make sure parents they really see their kids. Yeah. Really look at them and really see if they are really okay. Yeah, because a lot of them aren't, and um, to dismiss them or reject them or or pretend like you know they're not okay, that's that's your that's partly your fault. Mm. And 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 when you have made yourself accountable and done the work, 
to, mm. to work on yourself so that you can be better for your kids. Only then will you see what you need to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think my only thing is, um, oh, my main thing is if you're one of those parents, like think about um, what are you contributing to your child's life that's making an improvement or that's pushing them to success? Yeah. Um, don't give me the, like, the don't worry about like you raising them, you putting them into school and all of that. That's a duty of a parent. Um, but what are you doing to, you know, to help them, um, build a future Yeah. or like, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> um, yeah, there's <laughs> a lot. There's a lot. There's we'll a probably lot. have another part two. I'm not like I, I'm not being a bitch about it. Uh, you're not because like, you're being very real. You're being very, very real, and it's it's one of those things where I can already sense the amount of heat we are going to cop for this, um, because we we we've seen it. <laughs> we true. know about it. Um, we already copped it, <laughs> right? <laughs> but um, I would honestly, if you are, if like you know, you disagree. Um, I would love to hear your views. Yes. Like I'm happy to have an open discussion with to, you. Yes, please. Um, I'd love to hear your views as yeah. well. Like we're not just sort of like, you this know. This isn't like a bashing thing. Yeah. I don't want people to take this away and be like, those girls are just bashing the older generation. They're just um, talking shit about the older generation. Yeah. They're just ungrateful girls about the older generation. That is not it. <laughs> but comment, like, you know, um, let us know how, how your your thoughts on it. Yeah. Um, if you disagree, let us know as yes. well. Um, but yeah, like I, I would, I would love to hear all all views yes. on this because yeah. I think everyone needs to hear yeah. all sides yeah. to it. Um, and and then we can all sort of see what works well and yeah. what doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with open hearts, <laughs> with open full hearts, <laughs> not empty bank accounts. <laughs> that should be a slogan. <laughs> I got that off um um one of the articles in Coconut. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, I think it was a um, there actually there, there's a good article about this yes. um on Coconut. Yeah. Um, by I think he's a Magai as well. Um, oh, I think I saw that. Yeah, he talks about uh he references Aswell um Aswell Aswell's cash yeah and sending money um, yes yeah um but that was that was a good left left fawali'i. Dion Enari, he's got a good perspective on that as well. Uh, pretty on the fence. He sees um, that, you know, um, the Christian husband, you know, how he, his responsibility to protect and provide for his wife and his kids, but mm -hmm. as well as the, you know, and then at the same time, he's got to honor the sacred covenant of like, you know, providing for your mother yeah. and, and, and you know, your, your family. Yeah. Um, and how, you know, but at, like in the end says the same thing. Mm -hmm. He, you know, believes that we need more open dialogue yep. and ears, um, to navigate the spaces with full hearts and not empty bank so accounts. empty bank accounts. That's beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Um, hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to end it there cause, um, oh, also, uh, yeah, more. Yes, we, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you have any feedback, please let us know. Yeah, um, I I've love been, reading them. Yeah, I legit when I when you as soon as Jules tells me we've gotten some sort of comment or feedback, I'm just oh my gosh, I can't wait to see. Yeah, appreciate all the comments. Yes. Um, even on YouTube as well. Yeah, we've, we're getting a lot of we have a lot of comments based on this topic too. Oh, I hope you yeah. enjoyed that. Then <laughs> <laughs> send us your comments. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoy this episode. Please send us your feedback. If you mm. want us to also discuss any other topics, please let us know. We'll be happy to talk about it. Yeah. Um, we will. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we also have like, you know, other guests that we're trying to like suss out. We really want more, more awesome guests. Um, but yeah, hope you are having a great, great week. Um, um don't forget to subscribe. So we're on YouTube, Logo Smith Media. Um, under Indie Faith Podcast and then on Indie Faith Podcast we are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and we're about to set up Twitter so yeah. get And excited. also Logo Smith Media on Spreaker as well oh, just so for sorry. the audio yes. version. Yeah. But um, yeah. So um we're going to end it there. Thank you guys so much. We'll catch see. you at the next episode. Yep. <laughs>